Did you know that you can now generate two different styles of video directly inside ChatGPT? OpenAI recently announced the GPT library, a section full of plugins and extra tools that take the ChatGPT experience to the next level. And when you look right here on the trending page, you can see that companies like Canva have created GPT plugins for their own software. So you can now design images with Canva by using the ChatGPT AI. And right here in that same list, you can see Video GPT by Veed, which works exactly how you might expect. Using any text input, the GPT will do everything involved with making you a video. From writing your script, finding a realistic voiceover, sourcing relevant stock footage, adding subtitles, and even adding your choice of fake video host. And it does all of this in just a few minutes without you ever picking up a camera. I'm now going to generate two different styles of video for my travel channel. And before you get started, you do need ChatGPT Plus to access the GPT library. But once you're inside, just click on Explore GPT and right now video GPT is still on the trending page but you can also find it by typing it up in the search bar at the top and once it opens up it wants to know what type of video you want to create so let's kick things off by making a faceless video by clicking let's make a video and the GPT is now asking me for a theme or topic that I have in mind and this is where you're going to need a really good prompt to make a really good video and to me a good prompt is just giving the AI as much information as possible so along those lines I've added my now which mentions the video topic, it mentions the ideal length and some specific facts that I want to include. And that has kickstarted the conversation with the AI. Now, sometimes it will ask you some more questions about what you want to see in your video, but my prompt was so detailed that it's actually skipped straight to the synopsis, which I can now review. And if there's anything that I don't like, I can change it just by typing that in. For example, I don't really want an outro because that's not very good for YouTube shorts retention. So all I'm going to do is tell it to remove that. And there we go, it's gone. And when you're happy with what the AI is suggesting just write continue and straight away it's generated the video for me which I can now open up inside the Veed video editor where you can see that the entire video is now sitting in the timeline where I can make any changes to it but before we do that let me show you how to make an even more mind-blowing style of video starting the process again I'm going to choose to create a video with an AI avatar and we kick things off by choosing which video host we want to use so there's six different options here but I think I'm going to choose Noah just by typing in his name. And once again, we can now focus on the content itself. So we can add another detailed prompt or we can go a different way. In this case, I've actually written a video script myself. And what I'm going to do is tell the AI to use my script for Noah without making any changes. And there we go. It's generated the video right away which again, we can open up inside the Veed editor. Now, many text to video generators don't actually allow you to make any changes to the final product. But with Veed, you can customize everything you see in the timeline. But before we make any changes, let's see what the AIs come up with. If you're heading to Rome for a short trip, then here's the essentials. First, you need to visit the iconic Colosseum. So as you can see, it's added a video host, it's added some relevant stock footage behind him, and it's even added some automatic subtitles. But it's also important to remember that this is just the first draft, and we can now improve this product by using all of the tools inside the Veed video editor, which is super simple to use. And to be fair, we've got a great foundation to work with here. So I'm going to start off by replacing any footage in the timeline that I don't like. For example, I want something a little bit more eye-catching for my opening shot, so all I'm going to do is click on that clip, scroll down to replace video on the left hand side and by opening up the stock footage library I can just search for whatever I want to use instead. In this case I'm just going to look for more Rome footage and just looking through the list here I quite like this drone shot of the Trevi fountain so I'll select that and it's already replaced it in the timeline. I can also add some extra footage in a very similar way. All I need to do is go to media on the left hand side, open up the stock footage library again and choose another clip in that exact same way. Adding more footage like this makes your video a bit more fast paced, which is always good for retention. You can also add some background music with the built-in stock music library. All you need to do is go to the audio tab, open up the music options, and you can search through all the different genres, you can search for any keywords, and that can change the tone and style of your short very easily. I can also resize my avatar in the frame like so, just by clicking and dragging the corners. 
And when I say the entire process is customizable, I mean it. If we go back to my faceless video for a second, we can change everything we see here in the timeline, including the AI voiceover. I can change that to any style of voice that I want. You can choose from any of the pre-made voice styles from any of the voice actors and languages in these lists. Some of them also have options for tone of voice. You can even try cloning your own voice, which I did in this video on screen right now. It's worth checking out. On either video style, I can also customize the subtitles. Just click on the subtitles down in the timeline, open up the styles tab at the top of the menu and pick from any of the animated presets. There's a lot of different styles to choose from here. And this one right here is currently quite popular on YouTube Shorts. So I'm going to go with that. You can also change the color, the font and the size so they stand out even more. And I'm also going to move mine to the top of the screen like so. And that's it. I think we're done. We have two different styles of video completed in just a few minutes. And they look a bit like this. Welcome to Rome the eternal city where history and beauty intertwine. In just 60 seconds, I'll take you on a whirlwind tour of this captivating destination. If you're heading to Rome for a short trip, then here's the essentials. First, you need to visit the iconic Colosseum. Now, you've just seen how easy it is to generate content with Video GPT, but can a professional video editor tell the difference between what's made by humans and what's made by AI? To find out, I created five pieces of content with AI and then hired five human freelancers to make the exact same videos. Do you think you can tell the difference? Let's see.